Hi, today I'm going to show you something very unusual. I'm not sure how many of you will have actually seen one of these. Uh, it's quite an old item as far as I know. This is the only clockwork mouse that the technology giant Microsoft has ever released. And if you didn't think you hear me correctly, uh, yes, this is a clockwork mouse uh, released by Microsoft many years ago. Uh, this is the box that the mouse arrived in. You can see that it was addressed to uh, Roy Coleman at a time when I was working for this company, Cadfats Technical Services. Started there in 1989, was there for about five years. Uh, this company sold Microsoft products along with early XT and AT computers, mainly for the engineering industry. Um, the box has got air holes in it. Uh, as you can see, these are actually holes uh, on top and bottom there. Um, and presumably this was for the mouse to breathe and there's the funny writing on the side here as well. Uh, hold the box back up and hopefully you can see on the bottom there uh, if undelivered um, the item was to be returned to the uh, Microsoft address there on the bottom. Okay, right, what's it all about? Obviously you can't use a clockwork mouse with a computer and what this actually was it was a marketing idea by Microsoft I'll take the lid off and what we have inside is a clockwork mouse it's not a joke it's uh, quite genuine um, inside the box um, there's also documentation which substantiates the authenticity of this mouse and uh, shows that Microsoft used this gimmick as a sales campaign to promote their new computer mice at that time. Uh, obviously this mouse is not, uh, not one of them. Uh, if you look inside the box, there's a quotation there, a quick look at the alternatives uh, tells you why Microsoft mice are so popular. Um, now I think uh, this infers that other mice are therefore not so popular or as good as Microsoft mice. I'll take the mice, mouse out of the box. Um, I'll just show you. You can see the key here to wind the mouse up. Yeah, and the idea was that this mouse would come ready wound up in the box, and when you took the lid off, uh, the tail would flap, you know, furiously. There, there are wheels underneath as well. If you put it down on your desk, it would run around on on the desk. Yeah. So put the mouse down. Now to prove this is a genuine Microsoft I'll, I'll take out this cover and underneath we have a letter from Microsoft addressed again to myself yeah, in the top corner there's me again Roy Coleman uh, there's Microsoft address there on the other side Microsoft logo yeah now if we look further down the letter it goes up to explain why the Microsoft mouse is the industry standard. So there's blurb in the letter there. Yeah. And it's telling us about the pricing of their new mice. Uh, a new pricing structure, presumably uh, to try and help resellers um, to sell their mice. Talking about saving £20 on a new mice, a new mouse at uh, RRP at £79, a three pack saving of £101 on RRP of £349. So uh, there's also a reference there to Windows 3.1. Um, so an awful lot of money really in those years for what was essentially a rollerball mouse. Um, I've had this mouse in my position now since the early 90s. Been in a cupboard ever since. On the back of the letter we have the signature there, Gillian Kent. Um, who was employed by Microsoft for about 15 years, I believe, um, and currently uh, a director now with Mother Care. So that's on the back of the letter there. Now, the only thing about this letter is it's not dated. Uh, this would probably just be a standard letter uh, copied and put with these different. Uh, boxes of mice and, and sent out to uh, the resellers. Um, 
But if we go back into the box again, what we've got in here now, we've got a, a booklet, a uh, published booklet here, explaining various attributes about uh, the mice, and uh, there's uh, different uh, pages inside here, uh, telling us all about different aspects really, yeah. And then on the back, we've got the Microsoft logo again, this booklet produced by Microsoft. Okay. And lastly, go right down to the bottom of the box, get the card out. We have a card, and what this is, is an opportunity uh, to win one of the designer mouse. I'm, I'm not sure what the designer mouse at the time would have actually looked like. I'm, I'm presuming it was a PS2 mouse. Yeah. And on the back, yes, uh, some questions to answer there. Presumably you fill those in and you return the card to have the opportunity to win a mouse. Um, but if we look closer at the small print down here, it says that it has to be returned to by Microsoft by the 31st of October 1992. So that kind of puts the stamp on the the year and the timing uh, when this was received. I worked for the company from 89 so um, I must have received this in uh, that sort of time period. Um, but also it kind of dates this mouse it's uh, you know 20 plus years old uh, and like I say I've not come across any other uh, item like this at all. I've searched the internet looked all over and uh, not been able to find any mention that it even ever existed so this is uh, quite a unique item and by way of this video now that I'm retired, if anyone would like to offer me an exceptional sum of money to supplement my pension, it would be nice if this mouse could live with someone else for the next uh, 25 years. Thanks for watching this video.